Hello everyone and today our huge video will be dedicated to all leaks and spoilers of the new episode. In this video we will talk about new hands, new bosses and smiling critters, release date, and much more. The first one, and one of the most interesting to me, is the fire hand. If you look closely, you will notice that this hand contains a huge amount of small details. It is important to note that the main feature of this hand is that it can shoot fire. Remember the fragment where we paralyze catnap with an electric charge, and if you think that the effect of our fire hand will be the same, you are very wrong. The whole point of that hand is that we can just scare monsters away or hurt them a little bit, but we cannot kill anyone with that hand. And then there's another reference from chapter 3. The gun hand has a certain number of charges, and then we have to wait to shoot again. And our fire hand will have the same mechanism, but we won't be able to use it forever because the gas we use is stored in a cylinder that will be attached to our back, and once the gas runs out, our hand will just be useless, and we'll probably throw it away. And now, I want to introduce you to the strongest hand of all the hands that have been in the video and the ones I haven't told you about yet. Meet the strike hand. It may be similar in strength to the power hand, but if the power hand can be used mainly to open and close iron doors, then the strike hand is what we have been missing for a long time. But first, we need to clarify that in order to use this hand, we need to use the charging station where we get our wall-piercing charges. I believe the maximum number of charges will be five. And after charging our strike hand, we can easily break through any wall and move on. The strike hand can also be used against bosses, and since we already know that this hand will be the most powerful of all, it is likely that bosses like Miss Delight will be easy prey for us. But it is important to realize that even though the strike hand is very powerful, it still has its own durability and it will break after a certain amount of breaking walls. I think the maximum limit of the strike hand will be about 25 uses, after which we can lose it forever. The next hand is no less interesting, the harpoon hand. This hand itself consists of two parts, which we will have to look for in Chapter 4. But believe me, this hand deserves that we tried and found both the hand itself and the harpoon, which will actually be the basis of the action of this hand. What is the main point of this hand? An ordinary hand will be no different from the blue hand and will be the most ordinary part of our body, but once we find the harpoon, it will be much more interesting. Just like the fire hand, the main part of the harpoon will be attached to the back of our main character, and the tip itself will be attached to the hand. And there are only two ways to use this arm. Firstly, its main purpose will be faster movement of our character thanks to the ability to attach to the wall and be held in it. Now we won't need special elevators or devices for our arm to fix itself and we will be able to climb up. It will be enough to shoot from the harpoon hand and we will be able to reach any point on the map. I agree that this will improve the game a lot. And of course we could theoretically use this hand as a weapon, but except for a small wound, it is unlikely that it can harm our monsters in any way. My personal opinion is that the next hand is the craziest, but also the most interesting concept, and we will talk about the dew hand. It doesn't have any super features like the fire hand, but its main feature is to split it into several mini hands. And this is much more interesting, because now we will be able to use three hands at the same time. And agree that sometimes during the passage of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, it was just vital for us to save precious time. Imagine that now we will be able to connect to several transmitters at the same time, which will make our progress through Chapter 4 much easier and more interesting. However, it is important to realize that Dew Hand, like all hands, has its drawbacks. And in the case of the Dew Hand, it will be useless to us when moving or in situations where we need to turn on or pull something. I think many of you know that, thanks to the Purple Hand, we can jump much higher than the main character can in a normal situation. However, it is not always possible to find the purple marker that makes all this possible, and just to exclude such unfortunate situations and can be introduced winged hand. This hand gives us the ability to jump two times higher than it happens during normal play. But what if in addition to that we have a marker on the ground, thanks to which, when using the winged hand, we can lift so high that even the highest play care point will be an easy task for us. Even if we use acceleration, it can not always help us to escape from the monster, but if we use the speed hand, such a task becomes much easier to implement. The mechanism of this hand is very simple. We just have to put it on, and that's it. Thanks to speed hand, we will be able to move around in places three or even four times faster than now, even using acceleration. But again, speed hand has its drawbacks. Of course, this hand will not disappear, and we will be able to use it from the moment we find it until the end of the game, but at the same time, its charge will be limited. I think we will be able to use Mega Acceleration for 15-20 seconds, and then we will have to wait about a minute or maybe two minutes for the Speed Hand to become active again. I think that many of you like the story of Smiling Critters, and it's not fair that from all these monsters we were shown only Dog Day and Catnap. Let's talk about the ones that have a 99% chance of appearing in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4. 
and the first of the smiling critters will be Hoppy Hopscotch, of course. If you listen to her card, you know that she didn't die or show any signs of fear or being killed. She just wanted to play with us, but we still hear a scream at the end. I think our Hoppy Hopscotch just didn't get to the right height during the game and didn't land well when she fell, which means she's just a little injured and not much more. What prevents her from waiting for her wounds to heal a bit and appearing before us in Chapter 4? I think Hoppy Hopscotch is unlikely to be the main boss of the new chapter, just one of the ones we have to defeat in order to find the main villain of Chapter 4. Like Hoppy Hopscotch, there are several smiling critters that are bound to appear in the new chapter. And this is probably the least obvious option, but the new boss of Chapter 4 will be Crafty Corn. I think Mob Entertainment is considering that option. And objectively speaking, except for the fact that Crafty Corn liked to draw, we don't know anything else about her. Despite the fact that Picky Piggy almost directly said in one of her messages that she ate our unicorn, I'm sure it was just a little hint from the developers that one of these characters might end up in the new chapter of Poppy Playtime. Also, Crafty Corn is the last cardboard we get to listen to, and that also struck me as very odd. Maybe Crafty Corn will be the first boss we meet in Chapter 4. And before we get to the more interesting options, I'd like to tell you about one of the smiling critters that I told you about in the video, and of course, it's Picky Piggy. This piggy makes many of us marvel at how strong her hunger is, that she is willing to eat even her friends to get enough. And from that, we realize how bloodthirsty this character is. And I don't think the mob would want to lose such a specimen. Another very important nuance is that almost all of the smiling critters want nothing to do with the prototype's plans, except for two. One of them is already familiar to us, Catnap, and the second such character is our ever-hungry Picky Piggy. And it is Picky Piggy who can become a replacement for Catnap in the fourth chapter. She won't be as valuable as Catnap, but she will have a very strong influence on the new chapter. I think Picky Piggy will be with us for half of the game, and we will have to fight her about 60% of the time. And considering how bloodthirsty she is, I think Picky Piggy will be one of the hardest bosses in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4. Now it's time to talk about one of the most anticipated characters we haven't seen yet, and I'm talking about the very cute dinosaur Brawn. Many people were sure that Braun would appear in Chapter 3, because in the first teaser trailer after the severed body of Mommy Longlegs, we were shown Braun's head. But as we already know, the main antagonist of Chapter 3 is not Braun at all, and I'm sure Braun is the most desirable character we've seen so far. And it's probably time to tell us more about this dinosaur, especially since his life story in Playtime Co. is very fascinating and it would be interesting to know how it will affect Braun in the future. In case you don't know, Thomas Clark, a 59-year-old full-time employee of Playtime Co., was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. After receiving the diagnosis, he willingly volunteered to be part of the Bigger Bodies experiment. Scientists placed his organs, eyes, and brain inside a brawn toy in what became known as the 1199 experiment. He was severely disoriented and did not know where he was or what had happened to him. When 1199 was introduced to the other experiments, they immediately realized that he was not an orphan forced to be an experimenter, as a result, Boxy Boo almost completely ate his vocal cords and thyroid gland before the research team intervened to stop the experiments from killing Braun. It took 12 hours of surgery to stabilize Braun's condition. He was then placed in solitary confinement to protect him from further experiments. And since we've already talked about Boxy Boo, I think it's time to give this character some attention. Because he, like Braun, is the monster that a lot of people want to see in the new chapter. Boxy Boo was one of the characters we see on that very ominous tape, The Hour of Joy. Boxy Boo is one of the main monsters whose death we haven't seen yet. Yes, in the previous versions of the game, we saw the death of characters like Huggy Waggy, Mommy Longlegs, and of course, the main character of the third part of Poppy Playtime, Catnap. And we shouldn't forget his former friends from Smiling Critters who died at his hands. So for now, Boxy Boo is one of the few surviving characters we haven't seen yet. So we can expect him to appear in all likelihood. My opinion about Boxy Boo is that I would be happy to see him in the new version of the game if only the developers could introduce him into the story and make his existence in the game as interesting as possible. And now let's talk about less obvious options, namely that our new hero will be Catnap. Despite everything, we cannot exclude the possibility that we will be introduced to the already deceased Catnap. Of course, he will not be one of the main villains as it was in the third chapter, but as a secondary character, he is ideal. We all know that the prototype killed Catnap, but this amazingly horrible cat is so well-liked that I think it is necessary to make him a reference in the new chapter. But how will that happen? I'm sure that Chapter 4 will reveal the biggest secret of the Playtime Corporation, and we'll finally find out who the prototype is. But it will be at the end. But before that, we will fight with some bosses in the window or somewhere else we will see Catnap, who will help us like in the third chapter. 
but I think everyone understands that this help will not be for the sake of our salvation, but just so that we can finally meet the prototype. That would be very interesting. And talking about Catnap, where can we get away from such a character as Prototype? And you will tell me that we have seen him in the past versions of the game. In the first chapter, he was in the form of a reference on the tape. In the second part of the game, he stole the remains of Mommy Longlegs. And in the third part, he was the main villain who obeyed Catnap and forced all the others to do the same. Maybe in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4, we will see him in full form, and we will see what the sacrifices of all the monsters led to. Of course, there is a theory that Prototype is actually kind and wanted to free all the monsters from the abuse of the Poppy Factory workers, but then how can we explain the murder of his main subordinate by Catnap? Besides the above-mentioned characters, the developers of Mob Entertainment can add completely new monsters that we have never seen before, as for example, in the third chapter they added Miss Delight, and maybe it will be one of the old forgotten characters that we could see in the form of a drawing or a toy. We can only wait for the release of the game trailer of the new part of the game to dispel all our assumptions. I have already mentioned the long-legged family several times. Of all of them, we have seen only Mommy Long Legs, but the rest of the family members in the previous parts of the game we did not have a chance to see. Even though we know that the prototype took Mommy Long Legs' body at the end of Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, I'm sure he's doing it for a reason. Maybe his main goal in life is to resurrect all these monsters or reincarnate them into more powerful characters, and if that's the case, I'm sure that Mommy Longlegs will appear as a supporting character in the new chapter. Well, Mommy Longlegs isn't the only member of her family. Baby Longlegs may also appear in the new chapter, and considering the fact that we haven't seen him yet, I'm sure his appearance is almost certain. But as what kind of character? Whether he'll be positive or negative is hard to say. On the one hand, his mother died because of us, but there is also a prototype who took her body and who knows what he is doing with it. However, I'm more confident that Baby Longlegs will be on the side of the prototype, because as we know the prototype is very good at subduing monsters, and it's very easy for a grief-stricken Baby Longlegs to make Baby Longlegs think that we killed his beloved mother. I think if he does appear, we will see him closer to the end of the fourth chapter, maybe even before we meet the prototype himself. Many of you think that we will not see the old smiling critters in the game, so today, I decided to tell you about the new Smiling Critters, a completely different lineup that I expect to see in the fourth chapter. The first person I'd like to introduce is Tiggy Tiger. When we meet his cardboard, he offers us to be friends and spend time together. Then he asks where his friends from Smiling Critters are. Then his mood changes abruptly, and Tiggy Tiger tells us that he hates them for leaving him and that his revenge will be harsh. And at the end of his speech, we hear horrible screams. The next new member of Smiling Critters that we can also expect to see in the fourth chapter is Crocky Rocky, who, as we can see from his cardboard, is a green dinosaur who offers us to be cool. Also from him, we learn that he and Kickin' and Chicken are brothers, and they were the coolest kids. Also, he tells us about the situation with Bobby Bearhug, how they locked him in the closet. Later, his speech is also cut short by a horrible scream. The next newcomer to Smiling Critters is Snidey Spidey. He is, as you might have guessed, a spider. From his cardboard, we learn that he likes to scare people. He tells us that when he sees scared faces, it makes his blood boil. His speech, like the previous newcomers, also ends with a scream. Another newcomer is Bully Bolito, who immediately brags to us about his strength. He tells us to exercise to become as strong as him. In his conversation, he mentions Crafty Corn and tells us about his affection for her. His conversation also ends with shouting. The next character is Riddle Roo, who appears to be a kangaroo. From her cardboard, we learn that she is a collector of various things. She then decides to show us something from her collection, and it turns out to be human fingers. Her conversation, like all the previous characters, ends with a scream. I have one more character. This is Griffy Gingers. From his cardboard, we learn that he is an avid joker. He once pranked Miss Delight by putting a sharp pin on her chair. Then he offers us to help him with his best prank, namely to hang a bucket of water over Miss Delight's office door so that when she opened the door, the water would pour over her head. From the conversation, we also learn that he got into Miss Delight's office and that she was doing something with her sisters. As you can guess, his conversation also ended with her screaming. Another prospective member of the new Smiling Critters is Moody Moose, a moose who seems to be very shy. We learn from his cardboard that he can't even remember his name when asked. We also learn that he seems to be new here. He doesn't even know what this place is. He also tells us that he is homeless and asks for a bed. His speech, like all the others, is cut short by screams. First of all, I would like to express a huge thanks to all the workers of Mob Entertainment. They tried their best, and Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 turned out to be just a delightful game, amazing story, high-level graphics, revealing new characters, and of course a lot of puzzles that make more interesting. 
but most of the fans are already looking forward to the new part, and now we will try to find out with you when we should expect it. The exact release date of the new chapter of Poppy Playtime we certainly don't know yet. However, we can make an assumption, which will be based on the release dates of the previous versions of the game. So let me remind you that Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 was released on October 12, 2021, and almost six months later, Mob Entertainment presented the second version of the game. But the gap between Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 and Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 is much longer, because the third part was released only on January 30, 2024, which means the break between the release of the games was almost two years. But you can ask a reasonable question, and why such a big break? And now I will try to answer, as you may have noticed. Mob Entertainment has a tendency to increase the size of the chapters, because the second chapter was larger than the first, and the third is much larger than the second. There is an assumption that this trend will continue, and the duration of Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 will be even longer, and probably will be about 5 hours. But that's not all. There is one interesting detail, which for some reason is not noted by most fans of the game. This detail is that during the creation of the third chapter, Mob Entertainment Company left a number of developers which greatly complicated and most likely delayed the release of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Well, that brings us to the big question. So when can we expect Chapter 4 to be released? My guess is that we should expect the new chapter by the end of 2025 or even early 2026. But do not be sad, because the new version is likely to be much more interesting than all the previous ones. In my opinion, we will expect a huge number of new locations, also a lot of new interesting riddles that we will have to guess together with you. Yes, of course. Perhaps the game will be released earlier, but so far, based on all the information we have and analyzing it, we can only conclude that the game should be expected in late 2025 or early 2026. The next interesting question is, who are the new characters we should expect to see in the fourth chapter? In my previous videos, I mentioned that Boxy Boo is the most likely character we should expect in the new chapter, because we were shown him in the key VHS tape, The Hour of Joy, and he also appeared in Project Playtime, but we didn't see him appear in the main story. So Boxy Boo is the most likely character to be expected. But not only Boxy Boo is awaited by all fans, but also Braun the Dinosaur. On Mob Entertainment's YouTube channel, there is already a VHS tape with experiments on him. It shows how he was created, how other monsters didn't accept him. But in the main plot, we saw only his toy on the fold with rejected characters. But he's so beloved by fans that it's likely Mob Entertainment won't be able to resist adding him to the game. I think that we should expect a lot of new monsters that will play the roles of both main and secondary characters, but who it will be will help us to find out only the trailer for the game, which we are looking forward to. Hence another question follows, and when we should wait for the trailer for the game, because from the experience we already have, from the trailer we can learn a lot of things, even build some theories. Usually Mob Entertainment Company releases a teaser for the game almost half a year before the release of the game itself. Well, and then followed by game trailers. So if we decided that the game will be released in late 2025 or early 2026, then accordingly, teasers and trailers we should expect in the summer of 2025. We would also like to touch upon the topic of new locations that we can expect in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4. In the third chapter of Poppy Playtime, as we head towards the kindergarten, our attention is caught by a colorful poster on the side of the train. It depicts not just a park, but an entire Poppy-themed amusement park, possibly located within the vast confines of the Playtime Factory Co. Regardless of whether this park would exist indoors or outdoors, its concept holds great potential for an exciting chapter if Mob Entertainment decides to delve deeper into the theme. The appearance of the poster serves a definite purpose, giving us hope that this exciting idea could become a reality. Also curiously, Chapter 3 is rife with references to space, especially the moon. While these references seem innocuous at first, their frequency hints that something important is unfolding in the upcoming chapter. Why else would Smiling Critters be so insistent on mentioning space? This recurring motif could be the signal for an entire space-themed room or a new space-related toy character. Whatever the subtext, the recurring hints of space are sure to pique curiosity and suggest that there is more to the story than meets the eye. And now I suggest you get to what I promised you at the beginning of this video, the leaks that have hit the web and bonus the efforts of the fans, who have also made some very cool speculations about the fourth chapter. The first thing I'd like to talk about is probably the model of the new hand. It is very different from what we could see in the previous parts of the game. Probably the most interesting detail is the presence of sensors on the back of the palm. My assumption is that this red hand works in the following way. We can collect electric charge with its help, and the sensor on the backside shows the level of the collected charge, when it will show the maximum value. 
then we will be able to release an electric charge that will stun the monster, as it was with Catnap in the final scene of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. The next pro that I would like to tell you about is a VHS tape about Do Hand. Obviously, we don't have a whole VHS tape where we can listen to what this Do Hand is all about, but I certainly have my guesses. I have two theories about this. The first one is that this is just another experiment of Playtime Factory and maybe we will even see Do Hand in the game, but I think it will be a minor character. I have a second theory, which is more likely to be wrong, but still I'm ready to tell it to you, that Do Hand is the original name of Prototype Experiment. But maybe as a result of the experiments, there were some failures and Playtime employees got not what they wanted. Also in the network appeared a possible cover of the game, which shows Catnap's body and Prototype's hand reaching to it. Also from interesting we can see Huggy Wuggy's head and expected by US Dinosaur Brawn. Well now I propose to move on to what was created by the hands of Poppy Playtime fans. The first thing I want to show you is probably a new character. I mentioned him in my videos and expected to see him in the third chapter. It's Jolly Clown. Maybe there is some truth in it. Maybe we can see him as one of the main villains in the fourth part. But for now, this is only the desire of some fans. And what the developers think about it, we cannot say. Also among the fans, there is a photo of a possible menu, which shows the supposed appearance of the main villain of Poppy Playtime, Prototype, which involuntarily leads us to think that we will see Prototype in all his glory already in the fourth chapter. But as I have already mentioned, this is just a concept from the fans and no more. While watching one of the fan trailers for chapter four, I saw Daddy Longlegs. Maybe we will see him in the new chapter. I think if he really appears, he will probably hunt us. Thinking about the fact that we are responsible for the death of his wife, Mommy Ling Legs. So what do you think? When should we wait for the release of the fourth chapter? Will the developers add new, completely unknown to us characters? And do you believe in leaks and fan trailers? And that's the end of our video. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye.